Hello, people, and this is an MO7 production. Now, I know what you're thinking here. Where the fuck are we? This is not Minds of Insanity, and quite clearly, this is... Well, this doesn't seem to be at all right. Where is our lovely Sfax textures? Well, I'm here to tell you, folks. Minds of Insanity is officially over until Season 3. And guess what? We exploded. <laughs> But, in order to entertain and uh, generally abuse the lot of our useless viewers, yes, I know who you are, you sitting over there in your underwear eating potato chips, um, I have taken it upon myself to compile a special beta version of Seasons 3 Mod Pack. And, with Charlie's permission, of course, I am going to do a single-player version of it. Now, you may hear Charlie pop in from time to time in the audio. Uh, this is because he may be in a Discord call with me or something else. But, as for right now, it's just you and me, viewers. So... Uh, I don't know why the fuck I got up on top of this tree. For some odd reason, I thought it would be a good idea to give you all a nice... Ow! Give you all a nice view. So, uh, this is the world we started off with here. Uh, it's a very nice world. I mean, as you can tell, we have some resources at our disposal already. I mean, just look at that. That is some creepy-ass dimensional rift, and we got some chickens over here. We got some cows over in the distance. Those will be useful. Uh, we got some melons. Uh, we got an entrance to a cave with lava here. We have a source of water nearby. So I think uh, I think first thing I'm going to do is, uh, is come over here and pick up these melons before some creeper does. You know? Ah. Uh, Yes. Now, we also have a nice array of mods that are definitely out of the ordinary. Um, I, God knows I enjoy using interesting mods that add a few things that are just really unique. Uh, and I don't want to spoil too much, but um, the Aether is is in this mod pack and I, I would deeply love to explore the aether as you all may or may not know the aether right now is in highland in the highlands update and uh that's cool it, it's really cool um i mean it's it's a very unique take on the idea of a above world and you know i've always loved the aether and the way they're doing things right now is, uh, is, is cool. Real cool. Uh, by the way, all credits to any modifications we use in this series or mention go entirely to the um, mod authors and their respective developers. We, we love our mod developers. Y'all do some amazing work and all that. Uh, and also, I don't know if Charlie's even going to bother putting music to any of this. Uh, he may. I, you know him. He, he likes putting music and slapping that deranged logo of his on everything that moves, so it most likely will wind up, uh, you know, with some kind of music logo or something in it. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we had a, a real nice start here. Um, I mean, let me just go ahead and... Yeah, and uh, this is... Uh, part of our recipe book mod um, mixed with NEI. Also, just enough items, which uh, is, is basically a newer version of not enough items. So, yeah, we, we have some stuff here. Let me make some sticks. And I'll make a wooden axe so we don't have to... Oh, well, actually... So we don't have to punch trees like a scrub for the whole time. Yeah, and I'm thinking we should make a very nice house. 
so that, uh, you know, I, I don't look like an idiot the whole time living in a cave. Now, you know, I would absolutely love it if in the comments section uh, someone gives me their opinion on living in a cave or building a house in Minecraft. Because, you know, I'm one of those guys that are like, well, you know, it's not like living in a cave is that different from having a house of your own. Because you have four walls and a roof. The only difference is uh, my walls are made out of rocks and your walls are made out of wood. Uh, and, you know, to be honest, I, I kind of like to put my faith in rocks more than wood. But there is an aesthetic difference that I do understand. Though what's really weird is, I believe there's a Trecapitator mod on right now, and I don't think wooden tools work for it. So that's something we're going to have to address a bit further down the line. Um, okay, so it's still early in the day. We have plenty of time. I think we should go over to... Ooh, got an egg. I think we should go over to that cave we spotted over here and uh, get to mining. Yeah. Now, I know all of you must be thinking, oh god, this is going to be one of the most boring and long series in history. And you may or may not be right. It depends. Um, now, I feel that our audience should be made aware of something. Uh, Metal and Keller Angel, otherwise known as Charlie and Cassie, uh are having a child. And this is wonderful news. Um, however, uh, it does mean that a good bit of responsibility is going to be on their shoulders for the foreseeable future. And so I don't blame them in the slightest for, you know, making or letting me do all this because, ooh, ooh, I found some Thomcraft crystal. Which is cool. I don't really plan on touching Thomcraft that much right now. But, you know, Thomcraft is a useful mod. Ooh, coal. Yeah, but I do plan on building a house in this series. And luckily for you, after a certain amount of time you're probably not going to see me go out and mine for very much, and it'll be pretty obvious why. Wow, we got a lot of coal down here, don't we? Now, one thing that does annoy me is that auto-jump feature. I don't care how handy it is for people who don't build stairs. It really is a pain when you're unable to just step near a let, you see. Uh, I'd be tempted to turn it off, honestly. I'm hearing steps. I worry that there may be a creeper around. Now, many of you might, may be saying, Moretti, uh, y you should mind this. Well... That's a good idea. Uh, problem is, I don't have an iron pit yet. Uh, but that could change rather shortly. Uh, nope, need a stone pick for that. But as it just so happens, I have my crafting table. So let me just 
make some sticks, and I'll make a uh, nice new uh, stone pick. And then we'll we'll have uh, some stone shit. Okay, you're all hearing the sounds of that thing walking too, aren't you? I I'm hearing it. See, advancement. I'm hearing the sounds of something walking. I'm hoping it's just those cows, but you know, you never can tell. Oh shit! Nope, nope, nope. Do not blow up my iron. Okay, I don't see the creeper, so here's what I'm going to do. You know, something interesting to say while, um... I prepare to fight this exploding thing uh, would be I saw something happen in Minecraft that I didn't actually know was possible. Uh, somebody actually managed to beat Minecraft without ever left clicking. I know. It sounds absolutely bizarre, doesn't it? But they did it. Uh, it was a Minecraft YouTuber, though I cannot quite remember off the top of my head their name. Uh, I would be very grateful to anyone in the comments who could enlighten me on who that was. Uh, and I was like, okay, now there is no way you could possibly ever defeat Minecraft without, you know, punching at least once. But apparently, this was not the case. And the way he managed to defeat the Ender Dragon was... And I must say, it's downright genius what he did. Um, basically, he, uh, he used the trick that you can't sleep in the uh, end. And... Um, he used his self-destructing bed to damage the dragon. Yeah. It, and that's just impressive ingenuity. He used snowballs to destroy the end crystals. He uh, used TNT that he was able to trade from... What is this? Can I mine it? What is this? What the... Okay, well... <laughs> I guess we have quartz in the overworld! That's interesting. Oh, uh, look, another creeper. Not to sell. Find a spider and murder. In that order. Oh, shit. That's an angry zombie right there. Oh, more creepers. Let's go hunting, shall we? Now, uh, the mods that will be in this series may fluctuate uh, depending on the recording session. As I said, this mod pack is actually in beta right now. Uh, 
this is going to be the beta for the next Minds of Insanity. Made a rather unsightly hole in the ground, hasn't it? Uh, well, you know how I am. We'll just find some dirt from down below and we'll use that to make up the deficit. Oh, uh, let me see here. Let's do some bad things. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Find something two blocks high. Run for water. No! Ah, damn it. Oh, that was, that was unfortunate. Oh, my. I'm gonna have to disable that death point sometime. Um. Yeah. Yeah, that was real neighborly of you, Mr. Enderman. Throwing all my shit over a ten mile radius. Making me have to run from these zombies and spiders and shit. And then run down here into this cave to fetch my, my belongings, you know. Jesus Christ, don't let it be a dead end. Don't let it be a dead end. Oh, shit. I, I hear a zombie, baby. Baby zombies. I do not like baby zombies. Here. Escape route. Ah. Uh, but my salvation will be shortly at hand. <laughs> the sun's coming up, motherfucker. <laughs> Though, I should probably handle these mobs before the sun fully arises. As it would be bad for my health to be caught outside with burning zombies. Come on! Come at me, bro! Okay, so that was simply a minor setback. No need to. Oh my god. Oh uh, shit. Oh no. I think he's broke. Okay, there we go. Oh, would you look at that? Five whole levels. Ooh, we may be able to kill that creeper over there. No, no. Let's not endanger the local livestock here. Also, uh, what is that peckish? Let's, uh, let's have this apple. Now, let's get these tools back on my hot bar. Yep. You know how they say, the hardest step is surviving the first night in Minecraft, and this was the first night. You know, I'm going to have to check the tree chop settings here because uh, I'm fairly certain that I do have the tree capitator mod installed. Ooh, a skeleton. Hey, you know, we may just luck out and, uh... Yeah, we got a bone. Uh, oh, more iron. Now, I am right on the edge of death, so I think it would be wise if I could try and find myself some armor and a house to live in. Uh, oh, wait, I should actually commit to evil first. Let's see here. Hmm...
<laughs> the gods are pleased with your sacrifice. The gods are pleased with my sacrifice, it seems. Okay, well, that's that's nice. 